Hi, I thought I'd make a video today a little different than one I've done before. Um, I'm always liking to try new things. So um, recently I started a new job, which I love. It's fantastic. It's fun. So much less stress than my last one. So I'm super excited. Um, recently I found out they do this thing once a month. Um, they have a meeting which involves these notes that we get to put up on a board in the hallway um, saying how someone made a difference at work. Um, like so-and-so caught something before it went to the printer, so we saved a lot of money, why do you, you know, things like that. Um, and they read them off at the meeting and then one gets picked and so they win a gift card, I think. Um, but I found out everyone at the meeting gets a prize for showing up to the meeting. Um, and today's, not today's, <laughs> this prize for this meeting was uh, collector cards. So I got two packs of collector cards and I thought I would open them on screen for you guys today. Um, one is Superman, very fancy. They are Skybox Collector's Edition, the Man of Steel Platinum Series. And the other one is Skybox as well, Batman Saga of the Dark Knight Trading Cards, also Collector's Edition, I believe. Um, very fancy, you know, shiny, and they're cute little packs. So I felt that I might try like an, an opening video, unboxing, I don't know what they're called. Um, but I wanted to explore these cards and I thought I'd share it with you. So I figure since my favorite color is red, I will save Superman for last because I like red. So we will open Batman first. Um, it does say, you know, order your official collector album today. Collect and protect your cards in the Batman saga of the Dark Knight collector album. Um, page is not included. $14.99 send check or money order to this address. Uh, Batman and all related problem uh, property of DC Comics, etc., etc. Printed in the U.S. So there's that. Very fancy. Now, obviously, Batman's probably going to be in here because, you know, they're Batman cards. But I wonder what else was is going to be in here. I am a fan more of Marvel than DC. However, well, you see that didn't really work. It tore the plastic clean through instead of opening it. Um, but I am, a, I am a fan of, you know, Batman, Superman. I really can't wait to see the Justice League, see how they've, you know, done with that. Here we are opening the cards. Ooh. And the first card we have is the Joker. On the front, it is obviously a picture of the Joker. He's grinning. His big grin, it says Nemesis. I hope they say, you know, what they are on the card. It says Nemesis right there. On the back, it says, he is death personified. Batman and the Joker, the bitterest of foes, yet they know nothing about each other. No matter how high the body count, no matter how cruel the crime, Robin's murder, Batgirl's maiming, the Joker is forever beyond the Dark Knight's justice. Every time he is locked away, he escapes. Every time he is thought dead, he resurfaces. Their mutual hatred is pure. Theirs will be the dance to the end. That is very cool. It is card number 46. The Joker. Um, painted by Brian Stelfries. It's a very... I like the card. He's holding his hat. He has his flower on his lapel. It's very, very interesting. Let's see what's next. Next we have... It, this card is titled A Death in the Family. Um, it's Two Minute Warning, card 45. On the front, it shows Batman, the Joker, and what appears to be possibly Superman exploding, which is really nifty. I should have terminated his vile existence years ago. His, insane, his insanity gave him a stay of execution, but no more. Jason's dead. Bruce Wayne sat idly and watched as the speaker, the new Iranian diplomat, the Joker, unleashed deadly gas into the entire UN General Assembly. As he'd expected, Superman was on hand and inhaled it all. When Cass erupted, the Joker slipped away, but not before he was shot. However, as always, no body was found. He'd escaped again. Oh, that's not Batman ex or Superman exploding. That's Superman sucking in all the gas. That makes sense. Um, pencils, J. Apero, inks, D. D. Gardio. 
I'm murdering these names and I'm sorry. <laughs> um, Colors P. Piggott. I do not speak English well, even though it is my first language. Um, Batman Death in the Family. That actually is really cool. All right. Next, this one is titled Night Quest. Um, it's got a picture of Batman fighting some sort of Batman Transformer. I'm unsure. Um, this is card 99, Night, Night Send, it says on the side, Night Quest. Um, you, can set ev you can set everything right. When Bruce Wayne returned to Gotham City, healed from his breaking at Bane's hands, Robin eagerly reported the dis desecrations of his successor, John Paul Valley. However, Bruce Wayne was far from being the master crime fighter he once was. It would be an arduous and painful road to retra retraining, Plus, the man who was the original Batman was not altogether certain he wanted to reclaim the mantle of the Bat. Interesting. It appears as Batman's trying to get his title back in some way. Um, pencils, J. Ballant, inks, S. Hanna, colors, M. Chiariolo? Again, I do not know names, but that's very interesting. Like I said, I don't follow DC so well. I only know the movies. Um, but I like learning. Um, Dynamic Duo. It's a picture of Batman and Robin in what appears to be some sort of school. There's a couple of guns, a kid in a wheelchair. Very, very sad, actually. Um, Seduction of the Gun, card 36. I'm well aware of what guns can do. Gotham City, Virginia Beach, or any town USA, everywhere guns have replaced fists as the weapons of choice to settle schoolyard differences. Batman masqueraded as a dealer to nail an illegal gun running operation while Robin went undercover to guard the real dealer's daughter. The heroes shut down the suppliers, but not before gang shot down Robin's new friends, including the dealer's daughter. Pencils T. Grummet, inks S. Hannah, colors T. McGraw. That's, oh, that like mirrors today so much. Everyone's going to guns and running for violence and, and just look how sad they are. It's just not... No one wins. This one, ooh, Catwoman. It says year one on there. It's got three guys in pain, a, gun on, a couple guns on the ground, and obviously Catwoman in the middle under Batman's shadow. Fel Feline Fatale, not card 11. I don't deserve to be alive. Batman narrowly escaped the demolished building when his belt, his tricks, went up in flame. He relied on his intellect. That would be all he'd ever need in ingenuity and high-placed friends. He needed Gordon on his side, come in handy when missions are spoiled like his recon to Roman's house. The mobster was about to tell all when the cat when some catwoman stole his his baubles and clawed his face. Interesting. Again, English. <laughs> Pencils and inks are Birchel Birchett colors S. Van Velkenberg. I can say that one. God, I'm, I can tell him Dutch. Van Valkenburg's not a problem. Burchette, problem. Um, I've always liked Catwoman. Cause I, I don't know, maybe I just like women. Because, you know, I'm a woman. And the concept of women in comics is always cool to me. Um, ooh, this one is also titled Year One on this side. Um, falsely accused card 10. It shows Batman and he's injured running from what appear to be army men, maybe? Um, they think I attacked those cops. Batman fought to ignore the bullet in his leg. I see that. Concentrating only on escaping the SWAT team. He ran through the blind alley into the condemned building. If he had made it to the roof, beat their air support, he'd be safe. But Commissioner Leo, Loeb, Commissioner Loeb saw his opportunity in opportunity and seized it the building was set for demolition he would firebomb it no one would be hurt except some derelicts and batman pencils and inks by r burchett and colors s van velkenberg that makes sense that is a swat team trying to chase down batman interesting i like it when the hero sort of gets chased because they think he's doing something wrong but he's not he's just you know doing what he thinks is right um, this one is from A Lonely Place of Dying. Um, Gemini Automobile Wreckage Specialist, Parts and Service. It's got Batman, Robin, Two-Face, possibly? And some other guy I don't know. 
Um, I'm probably going to get killed for not knowing any of this, but that's okay. Um, this one is Initiation, card 63. The costumes are not just symbols of law, but of justice. Batman, Nightwing, and Tim Drake traced Two-Face to a junkyard. Astounded that Batman had found him so quickly, Two-Face dropped tons of compacted cars onto the Batmobile. The car crumpled, with Robin still inside. Oh no. Had Batman already lost another boy to the costume? No, Tim was unhurt. He'd safely slipped under the car into a ditch. You can't kill Batman and Nightwing and Robin. Ah, uh, so that's Batman, Nightwing, and Robin. Oh, how did I drop that? No. That is very cool. I like, I also like switcheroos like that. Oh no, you think he's hurt? He's not hurt. He's hiding under the car. And this is the last card of the eight cards in my cute little pack. Um, this one says Vengeance of Bane. Ooh. It's card 72. It's called Hunt. Um, it's got Bane obviously running. The bat signal in the back. It appears to be running on a rooftop and it's raining. Not a safe place to run. I would not recommend it to anybody. You will know my name one day and on that day you will scream it. Outfitted with tubes to direct, directly feed the super steroid venom to his brain, Bane was ready to conquer his new territory. The Batman is Gotham City, he reasoned, and Gotham will be mine. Bane's goal, beat the Batman, ruler of the world's toughest city. Bane's plan, carefully study the Batman and potentially or patiently wait the proper time to make the night fall. Pencils E. Barreto, inks G. Fer, Ferdin, Fernandez, and colors J. Pound. That is so cool. I get, you know, watching your prey and waiting to figure out how best to strike. That does make sense. Um, I like all these cards. They're very colorful. Um, they're dark, but still colorful. I like the, the use of color, like especially here on Jokers. You know, he's very much a purple and green sort of guy. But it's very very much contrast and i like that um th these are very nice cards i will maybe i'll start a collection <laughs> i don't know very interesting now on to superman uh it says the man of steel superman platinum series collector's edition skybox uh, odds of finding spectra etched bonus cards approximately one in seven packs stated odds reflect average of entire production run this ratio is not guaranteed to Exist within an individual box or case. Ooh, there might be fancy ones in here. I don't know if I, you know, hope for fancy ones or not, but we'll see what happens. All right. Our first card shows Superman and some green guy. No idea who that is. Superman does not seem to be happy. The power of Brainiac. Oh, is that Brainiac? That could be who that is. Brainiac, a disembodied alien mind melded with a human mentalist, took over a LexCorp laboratory to reconstruct his body both genetically and cybernetically. Thus rejuvenated, Brainiac fought Superman to a draw and escaped into space. Painted by Ray Lago. That is cool. That is very interesting. Swirling smoke. He kind of looks... Superman kind of looks a little like Sylvester Stallone here even though we know he's not. Very much... Uh, Adrian! Uh, very cool, though. Very cool. The next one is Superman. A female-looking Superman with spikes on her arms holding a guy out a window. It, this one is called The Vengeance of Supergirl. There came a day when Supergirl discovered that Luther did not truly love her as she loved him, that he had, in fact, been using her. Superman himself had to intervene to protect Luther from the Girl of Steel, painted by Nelson. Wow. See, I never knew about that timeline or that universe where Superman or Supergirl and Luther were, you know, an item. as awkward. But I like her very much 80s hair there. That is so cool. All right, next we have what appears to be Clark Kent flying, because he's not in u uniform, uh, flying above people's head, heads. That is, someone could notice him. 
That's not good. Look up in the sky. In the midst of the crowd at the airport, Kent, Clark Kent saw the space plane spin out of control, knew that he had to act. To the amazement of those around him, the young man leapt, into the, leapt high into the air. Wow. So he did do it and not care because, you know, he had to save the people. Painted by D. Alexander Gregory. I like how these all have the um, steel around them. You know, obviously Man of Steel makes sense. Um, this one, I can only imagine, means his parents. Um, upon first looking at the front of the card and reading the back, it says Jarrell and Lara. In, the, in time, the Kryptonian scientist Jarrell discovered that his world was dying, his people doomed. There was hope only that his son, artificially conceived of himself and his mate Lara, might escape Krypton's destruction. Painted by Bill Shankiewicz. Again, I can't read that. Um, oh, that must have been terrible, though, to know that you have to give up your son so he can live. That's, that's rough. As a mom, that's rough. Ugh. This must have been from that same time. It appears to be Sp Superman's pod escaping from the planet. You know, as Krupp... Krypton blows up. Superman's making it out of there. Soul Survivor. Affixing his son's birthing matrix to a prototype star drive, Jor-El sent the unborn child rocketing away from Krypton. Just as the doomed planet erupted in the world-shattering thermonuclear blast, unharmed, the matrix flew on to its destination, the planet Earth. Again, painted by Bill Shankiewicz. According to this, I guess he wasn't born yet, technically, artificially assimilated in a pod or something. Um, wow, to just never know your parents, though? Rough. I guess this one only has six cards, but that's all right. This one, I play a couple different DC... I, I play DC Universe Online, um, and I play Injustice... I think it's called i don't know i don't know what it's called i just know it's a fighting game where you can pick batman superman versus the bad people this is doomsday um i've played against him as him doomsday from a thick metal vault buried deep underground came the creature called doomsday he was the living engine of destruction who took delight in killing no one could stop doomsday's reign of terror no one but superman painted by tom fleming he always looked weird frosty I like the way his hair sort of stands up. Very interesting. Um, but those are those six cards. Again, I like the use of the color. I, as a comic, you know, it they have to have color or else there's no depth to the, the illustrations. But in these cards, it's just so... It's unique and interesting, and I really like it. Um, but yeah, these are the cards. They are different sizes, obviously, um, but I do I do like. Ooh, I guess these cards were numbered. I didn't even pay attention to the upper right hand corner of these cards. They all have numbers too. Um, that would make sense though. Um, I do like them. I' gonna have to try and find a way to get some more of these. These are cool. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. I just like them. I'm gonna spend a few minutes staring at them probably. <laughs> Um, you know, according to this wrapper, I can get a sleeve or a folder to put them in. Um, but yeah, that, that was fun. I, like I said at the beginning, I'm more of a Marvel girl, but I think that's probably more because I like movies a lot and the Marvel movies I think have just been done better than DC. Um, that being said, I do want to go see Justice League. Um, Thor Ragnarok just came out. I really want to see that one. Um. I've never really read the comics, but I really wish I could get into them. But I just don't have the time. <laughs> Too busy making videos for you guys. Um, but thanks for tuning in. Um, feel free to subscribe to my channel. You know, all that fun shit. I don't like pushing that stuff. That's so awkward. Like, hit the like button. Oh my god. Um, but yeah, feel free if you want to. Um, but, you know... I want to put out more content, so thanks for tuning in. Bye.